Today, we're checking out the new trailer for Blue Lock Season 2. And from what I hear, it's a good one. So Blue Lock is facing off against the U-20 squad. Unison Wait, what? Is that supposed to be Madison Square Garden? Unison Square Garden. Oh, it's Madison Square Garden, right? Is that supposed to, is that supposed to be what that is? Okay. Probably. Okay. That guy is so creepy. By the way. This guy? This guy gives me the creeps. But I think people are hyped for him. I remember watching the last episode and everybody's like, ooh, when this guy was there. So. Don't know what that says. Or this, is this a group? Wait, hold on. This is their top six? Top six. Mmm, Nagi's in there. My boy! Mmm. He seems optimistic. Our boy, that's our... Hey, I for, what's his name again? Bro, his name is, um, it starts with an N, right? Nag Nagato? No, what is his name? His name is, um, an F. It starts with an F? N? F or an N, right? Doesn't it? What's his name again? Isagi? No, I don't, I'm not talking about the main character. I'm talking about the actual best character, the real main character of the show. But, um, this guy, but it, it starts with a B, right? It starts with a C? What's the name start with? What's the name again? Oh, Bachira. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the real main character of Blue Lock. Let's be real. If if we could if we could go back in time and choose a new main character, I don't know. Isagi did have his moments though. He was pretty cool. Uh oh. Oh no. The pieces need to fall in place. Oh, that's interesting. Dude, that's cool. He has like different color eyes. What's it called? A heterochromia? Alright, so this is coming on Saturdays. We're watching this on Saturdays. Now, I will say, throughout this thing, it's not... I don't know, man. The, the only time they really do, like, animation is when it's in uh, CG, man. It really does feel like that, oftentimes. Where it's like, alright, we're, we're doing... We're animating it in CG. Otherwise, most of the time, it is a lot of, like, panning stills and stuff. Like, this is a nice little moment. But, like, look how, look how still everyone else is. He's the only one animated in this frame. <laughs> that was CG, the feet. There's a little animation throughout, right? But, like, oftentimes, so many of these scenes are, like, just stills with, like, the zoom lines or whatever. It's like, ah, well. I'm hoping that... They just kind of threw together some things um, where out of context, it's like, eh. But like when we watch the episode, it looks better, right? When we watch the actual episode, the flow of everything leads to like a big moment. Like, for example, this moment where he's like hitting this little that thing right there. Maybe that's kind of like, eh, right? But then the moments leading up to it and the moments after aren't like just still framed with like moving clothes. You know what I'm saying? Also, I just want you all to know, I really hate, absolutely hate watching trailers without subtitles. It's the worst thing, but there's no subtitles for it yet. And so I just got to deal with it. And I just hate it. Cause like who, I don't, how am I supposed to get a feel for these characters? 
But we love Bachi though. So how will Isagi do it, you know? Yo, it should be a hype arc. We got new people. We also have a lot of um strong opponents, right? We're going against the U20 Japan. Uh, which is the, all of those people that we saw in the last episode were not from U20, right? They were, for, or the last like couple of episodes. Did we, did we face them? I don't even remember. I got to rewatch Blue Lock. You remember all of those people from across the world? Did they just clap the fuck out of everybody that was part of the, uh, the top strikers? Yeah, they were the top strikers. Did they just clap everybody? I don't remember. Did they actually go against them? Did all of the blue lock people just get their asses beat so bad, so quick that it almost it, like it feels like it didn't even happen? Is that what happened? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think I might rewatch blue lock. I'm not going to do like a rewatch of it. I'm just going to watch it on my own. Uh, probably just watch kind of like the end of it. I think I, I basically remember everything except for like, I don't know. Somehow the last couple episodes. But yeah, I'm gonna give that a shot. Uh, the U20 squad is uh, the people that we're gonna be up against this time. Should be interesting. I feel like Isagi's gotta step it up to another level that he just is not currently at. How will he do it? I don't know. I really don't like the fact that he's not with Nagi. Like he got separated. That sucks. Heard episode Nagi is sort of a recap. Still not here though. Yeah, episode Nagi, it's kind of like a his perspective thing, right? Is Nagi's perspective of uh, season one, maybe? The U20 are new people not shown in season two. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, not shown in season one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The match itself is the best arc of the manga, in my opinion. Ooh, the, versus the U20 squad? Mm. How many more seasons do we think we're getting after this second season? Like, if you had to look at the manga, be like, mm, we could probably do... How many more? It's like a tournament arc? Sick. Okay, that's dope. I love a good uh, football tournament. Manga's ongoing? No. Oh, Blue Lock's not over? Oh, I don't know why I thought it was over. We saw nothing of the match in the trailer. Lit. Love that. A lot more. The manga will probably go on for years. Sounds awesome. All right. Well, I am excited to see this damn arc that you guys are hyping up so much. Hopefully, 8-Bit is not going to hoe this series like what Studio Answer. Is that the name of it? That's just absolutely making Tower of God one of the worst animated series that we're watching this year. Destroyed that one. So hopefully, 8-Bit does not do that here. I have a feeling 8-Bit is a lot better, more capable. So we'll see. Though it is pretty short notice. Like, we did just... It's been like, it's been almost two years, right? It's been two years since it started. That should be enough time. We'll see. Let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, like as well as comment and subscribe to the channel. Also, maybe check out my reactions to the first season. Link for that's in the description. Till next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.